Hi, this is Tim, and I'm here with another video of um, Alpha 4. Um, Frontier have actually released two updates since my last video. Um, I'll go through that in a second. Um, I'm starting this session with uh, 62 kills, which is um, what I ended the last video uh, on. Um, at the end of the last video, I upgraded to a, uh, a, a beam laser for one of my um, guns. And um, uh, since last night, I've actually found out that uh, they have a bug, which um, I'm hoping that Frontier will fix soon. Um, so if you want to skip me flying around with a really crap uh, ship fitting that um, doesn't work properly, uh, skip to about 14 minutes and 30 seconds into this video. On the other hand, if you do want to see me struggling to kill people with a laser that really doesn't do anything, uh, carry on watching. Um, anyway, back to the uh, the updates that um, that Frontier have, have put out. Um, during the course of the alpha, I've had um, you know various different issues. Um, there's been the occasional um, software crash. There's been the occasional. Um, Issue uh, with performance and uh, you know flickering planets and various other things. Um, and basically, the two updates that uh, that they put out in a single day uh, yesterday, which would have been Tuesday, um, fixed every single one of them. Um, honestly, I I am quite shocked. Um, but. Uh, this 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 night, which was Tuesday night, I um, probably spent the most time that I've ever spent playing uh, uh, this this game in one session, and had absolutely no issues at all. Um, the only issue is obviously that the beam laser doesn't really do what it's supposed to do. It's um, it's the equivalent of uh, you know walking up to a train and um, you know just kind of slapping it and expecting it to blow up. Um, anyway, it's, uh, it's been like a little bit frustrating for the first section of this video here. Um, still on 62 kills and nothing really happening. Um, I realized pretty quickly that, that the beam laser wasn't working right, so I've just actually switched on the pulse laser and put it in the same firing group, so now I'm using both the pulse laser and the uh, beam laser. And, um, that's working a little bit better, but uh, it, it's obviously not working as well as the fitting that I had in my last video, which was two pulse lasers. So, a um, little bit frustrating, but uh, you know, it's the nature of um, unfinished software is that uh, there's always things that both need to be finished, and there's always things that can, um, you know, get uh, get screwed up that worked perfectly fine before. Um, just basically trying to um, get kills where I can and, you know, usual stuff. A um, little bit different with, um, with uh, my gameplay uh, from last night is that I've split it into two different videos because um, this first video um, which, as I've said, you can skip to 14 minutes and 30 seconds in to see me um, fighting in this asteroid belt with a decent fitting, which is two pulse blazers. Um, but uh, I'll also be uploading a second video, which um, I, I went to a different system and um, took part in a, a conflict between um, some federal forces and some local forces and I uh, decided to fight on the side of the uh, federal ships and um, that, was, that was quite interesting so I've, I'm uploading that as a separate video so that uh, people that just want to watch that kind of a scenario can um, and it should be up you know, pretty much um, right after this one is, hopefully, because I'm going to try to upload these overnight on uh, Wednesday, uh, Wednesday night. So yeah, this was all very um, annoying. It took 
forever to get their shields down and then forever to get their hull down. Um, so these are actually some of the hardest earned kills that I <laughs> that I actually have. Now, one thing that I'm doing here, um, because I was kind of anticipating that I was going to go and explore and go to another system, um, I started to fill up my cargo bay because um, the system that I'm heading to has a uh, black market, whereas the system that I've been in and that I'm in right now does not. Um, so I know that if I pick up the um, the goods that these pirates are dropping, I uh, will be able to sell it on the black market in that location. So I figured I would fill up my uh, cargo bay now. Here you can see me um, using the uh, sideways thruster there to get behind this asteroid. I've um, you know, found now that uh, if I can try to attack someone when they're flying away and uh, get fairly close to an asteroid, I, you know, when they come in, you know, for their attack, I can try to stay behind an asteroid like this. Um, as you can see, his shields are fully regenerated, though, so it's you know, it's still kind of a fair fight. It's just that he's very angry with me. And here it comes. And he actually got the first shot in there, so even though um, you know I was waiting to ambush him, he actually managed to get the first shot in, so he knew exactly where I was and um, he was just kind of waiting for me. And a bit of directional thrust here to try to keep him in my sights. He doesn't seem a terribly good pilot, so I'm expecting this bounty to, be, to have been pretty small. Whoops, mind that asteroid. That was a bit of a close call with that one. In fact, that's probably the closest that I've come to just slamming straight into an asteroid. The uh, proximity alarm that Frontier have put in is actually quite useful. You know, you, you sometimes think, you know, this is kind of annoying and um, and everything, but yeah, when you're flying towards an asteroid, it's pretty good that it's there, especially if it's, um, you know, you're not flying forwards. It just takes forever to get this all down with this weapon combination. And then, you know, he jumps out, which is uh, very, very, very annoying. I'm looking for another target now, because Neri uh, did not have a criminal record found someone there. And it is Kane Burst who um, on previous occasions when I have done combat with him he actually seemed like a pretty good pilot. And um, he's the one that's actually scanning me right now. You can see he's uh, completely focused on me. When I move around he's watching me. And there we go. He says your cargo now belongs to me. So, I'm going to try to prove him wrong. And this is a pretty good pilot, the way he's leaping around and... Um, you know, I, I... Basically, if someone's a poor pilot, there's really... It's, it's just so rare that they're even away from my gun sight. Um, if someone is a good pilot, you know, there's definitely, um, you know, times when I'll be having to loop around and look out of the top window and, you know, find out where they went. And, um, you know, it's not always easy. So now he's coming in for an attack and because it takes so damn long for this weapon combination to, to do anything, you know, I'm, um, really exposed out here because you know I, I hit them he flies away when he comes back in you know I'm in serious trouble really um, that's my shield to fly
target shields offline. And that's someone else scanning me. And here what I've done is I've uh, turned off the beam laser. I've basically figured out that uh, just using the pulse laser um, is, is going to be better. Um, because obviously the, the pulse laser I should be able to fire full time. Um, but, you know, I'm in so much trouble right now. There's two of them on me that I actually just put all my power to the engines and, and boosting to try to get some distance. Uh, my shields are down obviously, uh, my hull is down to 57% and I just have to get out of here. And basically now I'm going to jump back to the station and I'm going to sell the beam laser and I'm going to um, put in a uh, pulse laser, which is the fitting that I've had on all, all previous um, Alpha 4 videos. Um, oh, actually, no, the early videos, I think I had one pulse laser and then I bought a second pulse laser. So I'm going to have the two pulse lasers again. Um, so if you want to skip to where I actually leave the station to come back to this asteroid belt to teach these guys a lesson, just skip to 14 minutes and 30 seconds, um, otherwise you can just watch me fly back and uh, make the changes and uh, attempt to sell the goods that I picked up I think, um, which uh, didn't work because there's no black market here, um, and then leave again, but uh, if you want to watch me going through that process, carry on and watch. I'm still amazed every time I come into uh, one of these space stations by how just how cool it looks. And you know. As I said, apart from the the issue with the beam lasers not uh, you know not being any better than the pulse laser, which is obviously incorrect, um, the uh, the game now is super super stable. Like I I played my longest ever session um, in a single night and had zero problems, and that's unusual. That's really unusual. Um, you know that it's it's all very well and good. You know, kind of posting videos and um, saying that uh, you know I that the program crashed and stuff like that. But you don't um, get how much that kind of impacts things. Like my um, the the previous video that I posted, um, that was uh, the end of a night basically where. I had been uh, playing and shooting pirates and getting bounties for about an hour and then um, the program crashed and I lost an hour's worth of um, pirate kills and bounties, just gone. And uh, you know I, I um, went back into the game, went back out there, got some more kills and stuff like that but obviously I got nowhere near what I had. And, you know, it, it does impact you when these crashes happen, but that's also something that, um, however frustrating it is, however, you, you know, pissed off you are that night, you kind of have to get past it because that's what um, this stage of software development is. You know, it's completely unreliable and, um, you know, like I've said before, even after this is, uh, you know, out, out of alpha, out of beta and you know every member of the public has it you know there's still going to be issues um so you know it uh it's just what software development is you know you can fix one thing and by fixing one thing you screw up 10 more so heading out of the station here and back in the asteroid belt and now I have my trusty dual pulse laser set up and um, you'll see what a huge difference this makes. 
uh, going after a sidewinder here. I think it might be the first time I've seen this uh, NPC called Traxler in uh, in this belt. You'll also see on the the communications at the top left that there's a mistakes Morton is messaging me and uh, that's the person who has just started to attack me so I was attacking someone else and he started to attack me after uh, deciding I was worthy <laughs> and um, I'm just uh, flying around this asteroid now to try to get away from him and, uh, so far he seems like a pretty good pilot, you know, I'm trying to get him in my sights and he's doing an incredible job of staying out of them, which uh, is pretty unusual. I'm using my track IR obviously to try to find the guy and f finally he went far enough away that, uh, that I can actually get him in front of my ship. And, you know, very unusual again there, but when he makes an attack run, you know, it's not a straight attack run. He's rolling and um, really doing an amazing job here. I had to slow right down there and um, still didn't get uh, enough rotation to get him back in front of my guns and, you know, now Again, you know, it's just a situation where I had to pull back on the stick so I'm flying backwards and um, just try to face him head on here. Incredible um, AI pilot. Using directional thrust here, uh, pulling back on the stick so that uh, I'm uh, flying backwards and up. Uh, watching out for the asteroid, obviously, which he he had to adjust his course because of the asteroids, and that allowed me to um, get enough time when he was slowed to finish him off for uh, just 450 credits, which uh, was definitely well earned there. Uh, attacking a Cobra Mark III here. Doing a pretty good job of keeping this um, this target in my sights, but they're uh, kind of looping around a little bit behind asteroids and um, making it a little bit difficult. But uh, I'm still pretty sure I'm going to get this this one because um, the, uh, the kind of escape moves they're doing, you know, they're not really good enough. But that was a pretty good escape move, they um, jumped out. So here we go with another Cobra Mark III. I think um, the bounties are very dependent on how good the pilot is. Um, you know, you you do seem to get a higher bounty for uh, for, for better pilots, and you know, if it's a 50 credit bounty, 100 credit bounty, even 250 credit bounty, they're really easy kills. So I don't think that um, you know, kind of this this milk run kind of pirating is, you know, ever going to make you a lot of money quickly. Um, 
but it's definitely good for the early stages. I mean, the Sidewinder you know, is, is not a, a top range ship, but um, you know, you can definitely make money if, if you're prepared to, to, to spend the time there and um, obviously face the risk of, um, of losing it. Okay, um, I'm now being attacked by a Sidewinder. Um, they just decided I was worth it, I think. Um, I'm trying to loop around this asteroid here. And now that I'm around the asteroid, I'm going to try to kind of loop around and see if I can actually find them. There they are. trying to um, position my gun so I can actually ambush them and um, looks like it's working pretty well but they, um, they're getting a fair amount of uh, fire into me as well. This isn't a really effective escape here, they're um, staying pretty close. Just thrusting to the side there so that I can keep firing at them. And they jumped out. Looking for another target now. Okay, this is another sidewinder. And that was probably my easiest kill of the night. 250 credits. And there you'll see a uh, cargo canister. And as I said in the second video that I'm posting of tonight, I am um, going to another system that has a black market. So, um, unusual for me, I actually picked up a piece of cargo there. The reason why I'm looking for a black market is because they're listed as stolen. Um, so you can't sell them on the regular market. Uh, now this Cobra Mark III here, this is uh, kind of a pathetic attempt here at, um, you know, staying away from me. Um, they're just kind of trying to drift, but each time they would like really slowly drift back and forth, I just drifted with them. And um, that was a 100 credit bounty, which kind of just shows you how good of a pilot they really were. And this is a Cobra Mark III. I'm trying to use the asteroid here to, um, to get rid of me. But um, I'm staying closer to the asteroid than they are, so it's not really working out for them. And uh, they're probably going to break off, um, kind of break away from the asteroid. Yep, there we go. And try and make a run for a different asteroid, or try to move their way through. But um, the hull is already gone, so they're not going to make it. 150 credit bounty. Cobra Mark III, and he's just actually killed someone, so he uh, definitely knows what he's doing, and he's already attacking someone else, and um, I start to uh, to attack him, and then uh, I get caught in the crossfire of um, whoever he attacked, uh, trying to defend themselves. So there they are actually, um, they're coming in to, uh, to attack him for attacking them and um, you know they're actually red on my radar so I can actually attack them as well. Um, and uh, this is uh, Bat Crazy Roy is the name of this uh, 
this NPC and um, from previous experiences I know this is a damn good pilot um, and his escape there was real fast um, his movements are pretty good but um, I'm doing a pretty good job there of keeping him in the sights and that's an 800 credit bounty which um, you know judging by what I saw there, you know, him taking out another uh, ship, he's um, obviously worth that. And then here we go with another Cobra Mark III. And he's he's kind of focused on on his uh, his target, which isn't me. So um, I'm able to take his shields down before he's even reacted. And uh, it's his shields going down that actually makes him. Uh, sort of panic and start to um, to try to get out of there, but uh, he's just not doing anything useful at all. Um, and uh, zero percent, he's already dead. Just a hundred credits, which explains why he was such a poor uh, pilot. And uh, now I'm going after another Cobra Mark III. And I, I loved, um, if you could see on the asteroid just there, there was the uh, the shadow from our ships, um, you know, being cast onto the asteroid, which is just, it it looks so fantastic, you know, when, you, when you're following a ship through, um, you know, a tightly packed asteroid field and you see little things like that, it just, it just looks fantastic. And here, um, I'm going to pick up a few more canisters. I was going to uh, try to pick up the one that I think is worth the most money, but it's deep in the asteroid belt and I really couldn't be bothered to uh, to go and fetch that. So um, just went after these guys here. my cargo bay full, which means when I go to the um, to the other system in the second video that I'm going to upload, um, you know, you'll be able to see me sell those uh, those items on the black market. Um, so uh, I think any normal person would leave this asteroid belt because um, the more cargo you have that's interesting, the more uh, these guys want to kill you. But uh, I guess I'm not a normal guy because uh, I figured I would try to get a few more kills here. Now uh, I think Kane actually was someone I was fighting with earlier and I think he jumped out so um, it's kind of nice to have him back and to uh, be able to attack him again. That's a 600 credit bounty, which is uh, pretty good. And then here, Nova. Um, I've actually been taken out by Nova a few times. Um, most of the time he's been in Sidewinder, um, and now he's in a Cobra Mark III. Here, as he's turning towards me, I... Um, thrust to the side to uh, try to get behind the asteroid belt. He does manage to get in a few shots, but uh, I um, have, have started to think a little bit more str you know, strategically um, about things like this and uh, you know, using the asteroids in this way where you know, you, you attack them when they're flying away and then when they're flying towards you, you, know, you hide behind your shield. Uh, just seems a more intelligent way of doing things. So here you can see, you know, he's trying to loop around. I'm using directional thrust, and uh, he's staying very close to the asteroids, but um, not close enough. And that's 500 credits. Okay, so heading back to the station now. Um, put full power to the engines and jumped back and 
um, going to load up the galaxy map and I'm going to be jumping to Erinin and uh, working with a, a federal task force who are fighting local forces and uh, you will be able to see that in the second video. Ship released. Engines in 